Greetings, my name is Joshua Free. I am the founder of the Mardukite movement. I have been working with the Mardukites for about five years now publicly. It's been about a year since we've done any kind of video offering, uh, but a lot's happened. And uh, what I really want to focus on today and with the forthcoming series is a division of the Mardukite movement, which is called Systemology. And systemology is essentially a uh, derivative of postmodern Mardukite work that is focused on uh, futurism and the next generations. Uh, what we are going to do in this series is focus on the material that comes out of one of the booklets in the systemology series, which is called Transhuman Generations. And uh, what we are hoping to accomplish is essentially a awakening period for the next generation which is going to uh, enlighten them into new paradigm and new consciousness thinking. So, um, considering new paradigms, new consciousness, uh, one of the original pioneers of the new consciousness movement during the 20th century said that the future of the human species is to learn how to use our brains and that we would know their next evolutionary generation by their smile. And by smile, uh, this is a quote from Timothy Leary, Dr. Timothy Leary, and by smile, he meant uh, space migration, increased intelligence, and life extinction. Now, although the general conceptual idea of these feats might seem great in and of themselves to the average human being, one must really stop and reflect that these parts of the human condition are indeed where our focus and energy should be, or if it is even the responsibility and right of those from the old generation following programs of the old paradigm to decide upon. The implications of these feats has vast influences on the next generation, what I call next gen, uh, and the next generation I mean of the human species, or perhaps a transhuman species. Uh, the next gen are entering the world at a critical turning point. A uh, turning point, a threshold, a gate, a portal, whatever you want to call it, whereby the future of the human being is going to be decided. Now, the idea that the human species is on the cusp of something is almost intuitively felt by those who are alive today. It cannot always be clearly defined or explained. And nearly all of the various schools of thought, science, religion, they've all had their own interpretations and definitions whereby such a turning point or a cyclic renewal, uh, end of days, is being described. Uh, one thing seems fairly certain. We are about to witness the rise of the next evolution of the human being or its demise. So, religious teachers, social scientists, technology innovators, they all seem to have their own extremist perspectives on what they believe is to be the absolute outcome of these transitional shifts. But the outcome has not yet been decided. This is why we're currently only at the cusp of such a transition. However, an inevitable course cannot be delayed for much longer, probably the rest of this year. Uh, I would say at the end of this year, the human course will probably be fixed and set onto whatever is going to happen into the future of the next generations. Now, uh, it's what we're here to decide, and it's uh, well, what I want to do is provide food for, you know, while the next gen uh, ultimately is making their own educated, self-honest decision to steer a course, or else fall prey to following the map left to them by the older generation who perceive things through an old pattern or program fixed to an old paradigm. Uh, it's critical for the next gen to be given the true knowledge of their origins and history so that they may see present and future clearly. And this is something that has not been taking place for thousands of years. Knowledge and truth and all this esoteric has been hidden and veiled from people, and it's time to uh, extrapolate that, lift the veil, so to speak. Um, when we consider these, these feats suggested by Timothy Leary and the transhumanists, such as life extension and space migration or even increased intelligence, you know, we have to take into account what the past generations using an old paradigm, old paradigm or an old program, they've already handled their limited, uh, you know, less than 
metahuman feats among themselves on the planet here. You know, they, their profit-driven exploitations of resources, human lives, and the home planet, you know, these make the idea of life extension and space migration almost utterly ridiculous if the conditions of life are still being handled by faulty perceptions and worldviews. As far as intelligence is concerned, we're still on the brink of being able to see the world in a self-honest way, in which our outlook is not conditioned by a particular paradigm or fragmented system. Now, the work that we do in systemology, particularly with transhuman generations, uh, is also found in the anthology called Crystal Warriors and Mystic Knights. This is not a forecast of some inevitable doom, um, nor does it follow the extreme views of those who have contributed to its ideas uh, in the past concerning like what is right or wrong. Um, what I am trying to do is to issue reason and logic, new paradigms, observations of old patterns. You know, this is, this is prepared by, you know, what I would consider myself to be a next-gen member of the human race who has looked forward and behind outside the paradigms of the older generation and along with the ushering in of true knowledge of human origins. This is what we did in the Mardukite movement for almost five years now. We've explored the origins of human knowledge, human existence, human systems, human civilization, human traditions, um, all of which can be found in Mesopotamia. Um, you know, one can easily recognize that the human experience through time is driven by this ev evolutionary momentum. It is constantly adaptive and rides waves, tides, winds of inevitable change as it applies to members of the human race at any given point in history. And what is so intriguing about right now is that we are on the threshold of one of, you know, the most landmark transitions that could involve the end of the reign of even modern man by some means or another whether that be the postmodern human being as a genetic extension of what is in power today, or else it's going to be some form of created artificial intelligence that is going to replace the human being altogether and will continue to live on as the most human-like being on the planet. In either instance, and these appear to be the two main courses that we have to take, the days of the modern human being appear to be numbered. Now, without a true paradigm shift and the accumulation of true knowledge unadulterated by the filters and perceptions of variegated factions, the ability for the next gen to steer their own course will be thwarted as they continue to operate within the same systems and programs of the past generations, who are actually incapable of seeing anything past their own fixed parameters of understanding. Okay, so like, needless to say, all right, a population that is incapable of solving problems of living together on Earth or using the Earth without destroying it should probably not be migrating into space. Uh, the masses being reduced to their slave existence and serving as economic batteries to the system with little time or awareness left to their own actualization should probably not have their lives extended. And given the inaccuracy and in politics of knowledge, not to mention the limited understanding uh, that the past generations have had with it, not to mention its common manipulation, you know, does not really make hooking the brain into an external storage and retrieval machine very appealing. Uh, of course, none of the originally described feats are bad or catastrophic for the human species in themselves, but what we are concerned with is who is going to be executing these feats and how they will be dealt with. Keep in mind that it was those of the past generation that even set this course down in the first place, and all of the current means of enabling them are the product of old paradigm technologies or a modification or enhancement of the same. I mean, perhaps next-gen examination of these old problems might reveal that there are more holistic approaches to the same issues that were hidden from the understanding of the past generations. All this being said, it's important to re reiterate that my purpose in discussing these things is not a doomsday prophecy for the planet. What I'm acknowledging is that we're on the cusp of change, a turning point in human evolution and its civilization, and that this course has yet to be fully decided, but time is short. Not only is the generational program that humans operate on the very uh, cyclic renewal, but it's, it's the completion of a greater cycle. It's not just one cycle, it's many cycles. Uh, the operating system of the human being, meaning the genetic coding of the species that processes the programs of existence, is also on the verge of some manner of upgrade, 
which if not left to external machines should be nourished for self-actualization and evolved to handle more advanced new paradigm parameters for what is possible as reality internally. It, uh, it is and has always been my hope and the purpose of the efforts of the Mardukites and the Systemology Society that we provide a new paradigm, wide angle, unconditioned knowledge and ancient wisdom collected in wholeness and interpreted in self-honesty and to be brought to the public before the next-gen course is fixed permanently.